hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time my name is belema ogulu and you're welcome to my channel hit that subscribe button and hit the bell beside the subscribe button so you know when i post a new video so as some of you know i'm going to be 23 in a few days and i've just been doing some reflecting and just thinking i remember when i turned 16 and now i'm going to be 23 and it's like wow like time really does fly so while i was thinking and reflecting it occurred to me to do a video called 22 things i've learned in 22 years so i decided to sit down and make a list of 22 things I've learned in my 22 years so far and I hope you guys gain something from this or learn something from this video <laughs> so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing on my list is you don't need many friends just loyal ones I'll say I learned this when I was about 16 or 17 I don't know about 16 you, do, you really don't need many friends. Three, four loyal friends, better than a hundred just loyal friends that you cannot talk to when you really need something. Number two is never look down on anyone. Never ever, because tables turn so fast in this world. The fact that you're here today and someone else is here doesn't mean that things can't change fast. So never ever look down on anyone. And besides, you never know who God is going to use to bless you. Number three, family is not always your direct bloodline. So... <laughs> I learned this one. In fact, I've been learning it over the years. I just didn't even know I was learning it. What this simply means is that family is not always people that are just related to you by blood. There are some people that come into our lives and they are much more than family to us. They are, they are much more than friends, sorry. They are much more than friends to us. They are family because of how much loyalty they've shown to us and how much love and compassion they've shown to us over the years. So, yeah, and there are some people that bloodline and they don't show us any amount of loyalty whatsoever i believe that there's family you're born into and then there's family that you choose number four you can't coast through life you have to live consciously for about the past year and a half i have coasted through life i haven't lived consciously like i'm just i beg anything as every day I'll, I'll just take every day as it comes no like i can say i went through 2017 without really having definite goals and plans for my life and thank god that that has changed honestly changed somewhere in november sometime towards the end of november i just realized that i can't live life like this like i have to live intentionally i have to do things every day intentionally so i have a morning routine i have a skincare routine i have a self-care routine a self-love routine all these things just help to create some kind of balance in my life stress eating is bad stress eating is bad that's how i did with like a fool <laughs> makeup can boost your confidence faster than wine so like faster than anybody whining you makeup is such a it's such a blessing to us a shy when you know how to do it right save as much as you can you guys remember at the beginning of this year i told you guys about how i was saving piggy bank and piggy bank with piggy bank ng that's like one of the best decisions i've ever made for myself in my life because <laughs> because if i didn't save and then i didn't just save like i started locking money away too because after a while i was just gonna withdraw money just gonna withdraw money but once the money is locked away you can't touch it till the day you decide to unlock it and that was such a good thing for me. I have, I have, now I can beat my chest and say, I have money in savings. <laughs> okay. Right. So number eight, don't stay stuck doing one thing you do not like. You're not a tree. Like I said in one of my Get Ready With Me videos, I think the one where I talked about post uni depression or so. Don't stay stuck. Never, ever, ever do that. Because you have just one life. And you need to live a happy life. Heartbreaks may hurt, but they make us stronger. <laughs> Definitely. I can't even explain that one enough, but heartbreaks <laughs> feel like things that you will never ever recover from it feels like something that will last forever but the truth is it only makes you stronger and it only lets you set goals for your future relationships it lets you know what you will and will not take it lets you know the kind of love you should give and the kind of love you should accept i think that yes they are painful but they make us stronger and number 10 always trust god let me tell you this one i have learned it since I don't know i've learned it over and over again every single time god comes through for me i've never trusted god and he has fallen in my hand never not once now by 11 your mother will always find a way to come through for you hmm. let me tell you guys a little story time just just a quick 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 story time so while i was in final year i did my project and then it got cancelled about a month to project defense so i started over again you guys when i told you that my mom was always coming to school she came to school like I can say three times a week, and I live in Ota. Like, my school was in Ota, I live in Ikeja. And this woman will drive all the way to Ota just to make sure that I'm okay. She'll bring food. 
just come and just to me and make sure that I'm doing good, my project is going well, so that I won't, I'll, I won't feel like I'm alone. And that meant so much to me. I mean, she has done many other things for me, but that particular one was such, it was really a lot for me because I knew there were some days when she would be exhausted, she would get home late, she would enter traffic, all those things, but she would still come through for me. And I will always appreciate that. I love you, mommy. Number 12, music is more powerful than we think. No matter what mood you're in, if you listen to the right music, everything just seems like it's going to be okay. Music is not just for your body, it's for your soul. Number 13, never water down yourself to make someone else feel special. Here's the thing about watching yourself to make someone else feel special or feel comfortable, right? You dilute yourself so much that you don't know who you are anymore. And then you start feeling confused about who you are. Like, doing things that you never thought you'd ever do. You start saying things you never thought you'd ever say. Being people you never thought you'd ever be around. So don't ever do it. If anybody cannot match up to your frequency or your vibration or whatever, don't water yourself down. You can encourage them to get to your level, but don't you ever, don't you ever reduce your standards, reduce your vibes, nothing for anybody to feel comfortable. You are whole and you're enough. If you don't feel comfortable with you, you probably shouldn't even be hanging with them anyway. That's just my opinion about that. Live in each moment and enjoy it. This one, I would say, was hard for me for some time because I'm so used to vlogging and carrying my camera everywhere that after a while, I figured that I wasn't living in the moment anymore. Like, I was just always wanting to film, wanting to film what was going on, wanting to film what was happening. And... Even though that wasn't necessarily a bad thing, it made me miss moments. Yes, they're on camera, but I didn't really, I'm not really enjoying the moment while we're in it. Especially with this age of social media, I always want to put things on Instagram, Snapchat. Just take a beat and make sure you're actually enjoying the moments that you're in. 15, nobody loves you more than your mom. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's nobody in this life. Nobody. The only person that loves you more than your mother is God. And that's the truth. Nobody loves you more than your mother. Number 16, failing multiple times does not mean you are a failure. You're just evolving. I learned this. Let me tell you. For those of you that don't know, ooh, for those of you that don't know, I graduated from Covenant University and I graduated with a 3.3. That's a two two. Throughout school, right? I think I think throughout school I was just I was just rolling and tumbling. The best, <laughs> my best performance ever was in my final year. And that was when I started to believe in myself and to take school more seriously and to just believe that I can do it. It wasn't like I was stupid or anything. I just was very uninterested. This was what happened in my 100 level. I got, I mean, I had a carryover because I, um, I was sick. I was supposed to write a course. I couldn't write it because I was the only one. Doing. He was saying that he can't set paper for me. That I'm the only one. Some, 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 something. That eh. Next semester, I should write it, then they will move it to my 100 level results. Never did any of that. I ended up dropping two courses so that I could write that one course that I had a career in. So, school was just, it just felt like too much. It was just too much for me. So, in final year, I finally was able to do all my courses. Um, I didn't have any career over. And I ended up having a 4.43 or so. And so, it's not like I'm dumb. I just, I'm not. And then I felt like, like okay, in my, <laughs> let me tell you guys, in my 300 level, or was it 200? There was a time that my, that my GPA was 2.4 something. I have never felt less than, more than that point in time of my life. Like, I just felt like, yo. And then my CGP, sorry. <laughs> and then my CGPA was like 2.8. And I was like, yo, this is not me. Like, I mean, I know that. I might not be the smartest crab in the, in the, in the bucket or whatever, but... I know I'm not dumb. At two point, two point, anything was too bad for me. I really felt like a failure. But then what I what I realized this year: if you're not failing, you're not evolving. You're not learning. You're not doing anything new because there's no way you try to do something new that you will always get it right the first time. You might get some things right the first time. You might not. Now, failing doesn't doesn't mean that you're dumb or you're stupid or anything it just means you're evolving you're learning so never ever look down on yourself because you're feeling number 17 8d audio is live you guys i'm not going to talk about this too much just go on youtube yeah search for your favorite song all right 8d in front of it and listen to the earphones that's all i'm going to say that is all i'm going to say and if you've tried 8d audio please leave a comment in the comment section for me because i know that i'm not doing one as experiences it's just so live it's like you're in a concert you need to try it number 18 always involve god in everything you do i can't tell you how important it is to always involve god in every single thing you do nothing feels better than knowing that you have god's backing in whatever you're doing it just it just feels like 
it, it feels like you're untouchable. That's just it. it just if it, it like, just feels like nothing bad can happen because God is in control. And I would rather have God involved than not have God involved, honestly. He has never let me down once. He has the blueprint of my life. So why not? Why not if not? If I'm going somewhere, if I'm doing something and I can't say God take control or God please be involved, then I know that what I'm doing is wrong. It's that simple. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't be doing it anyway. <laughs> Number 19. Take self-care and self-love very seriously. Like I said, I have been on my self-care and self-love journey and I can't tell you how much it has changed my life, the way I think, the way I function, the things I do and things I don't do. Self-love and self-care is very important and I think every single person should take it very seriously. Number 20, move with grace, be nice but don't be naive. Once point in my life, <laughs> in my 22 years, I felt like everybody had the same heart as me and everybody thought the way I thought. I just thought that the way I was to people was the same way they would be to me. <laughs> jokes no it's not like that it doesn't work like that never ever be naive don't be ignorant of, of people's intentions towards you people can say as much as they want to say but watch their actions their actions will never ever lie 21 people don't care as much as you think hmm. let me explain this one to you well many times we don't do what we want to do because we're scared of what people will say but guess what people don't really care people don't care like that <laughs> people don't care like that at all people will forget what you did today even before the end of today. So never ever stop yourself from doing what you want to do or being who you want to be. And now look at it is don't over overestimate your importance in somebody's life because people don't care as much as they think that they do. Number 22 is live for yourself and no one else. I can't tell you how important this is. Do things because you want to do them. Do things because they make you happy. Do things because they make you feel whole. Do things for you. Live for you and nobody else because everybody else has their life to live and they don't care what you feel or what you don't feel they'll do what they want to do anyway so live life for yourself live life to the fullest be whole love who you are at every point in time because you're evolving you are love you are light so fall in love with yourself live for yourself and no one else not your parents not your friends not your best friend not your brother not your boyfriend not your girlfriend live for you because you come first so those are my 22 lessons that i've learned in 22 years i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to be 23 on the 8th of january so i mean if you want to send me anything let me know <laughs> i'll leave my p.o box for you if you want to send me anything feel free if, um no, but honestly, if you really do want to send me something, send me a message on Instagram and I'll send you the address to send it to. I'm just grateful for these 22 years and I'm happy to be turning 23 and I'm happy to open this new chapter of my life. I think 23 has a lot in store for me and I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.